Okay, take two. going fairly smoothly anyway. See if I can try a different route of the Theron skip. Shave off any time. I mean, if anything, a different route's gonna lose me more times. I don't know it very well, but whatever. that sounds. We'll try that. Actually, that might have... That might have saved a good bit of time. Especially if this is clean. Stall horse is there. And go around the stall horse so as to not fall off the cliff. It's a good thing it spawns, like, statically. <laughs> I better not ever do this run and start during the day, because I'll be screwed up for my visual cue. Probably a good like two or three seconds ahead where I normally would be, I think. I'm not completely sure. Why? Why does the horse sometimes turn right and sometimes turn left? And when it turns right, I run into it and lose a ton of time because it's stupid. Like, it's definitely in the horse's best interest to go the other way, and yet. Okay, that actually did not save me a single bit of time. Okay, I lied. Two seconds. Not bad. I was expecting that to be different. But hey, if I optimize that a bit further, that will be acceptably good. when the back tire just comes off the ground of its own accord, like, why would you do that?
Hope I don't blow those two seconds of time save. <laughs> As I am wont to do. There they go. <laughs> If I get a good refuel, then I don't think this will be so bad. Why can't you hold stuff faster than that? Like, I was mashing really quickly there. And it just was- just started holding it really slow. Let's try to get this right. Yeah, alright, that was actually really fast. We might have ourselves a run. Maybe. So long as I don't like seriously screw something up, we should be okay. Swung that turn pretty wide, that might have lost some time. I kinda wish that tree wasn't there because then I could see where I'm actually going. This is kind of a pain as is. And I think it's dynamically generated too, so as soon as I if I even if I kill it as soon as the area reloads it'd be back. I've never seen the birds flying around like that before. It's very interesting. This game just throws new stuff at you all the time. I wish that horse stall didn't stick out quite so far, then I could turn tighter. No gold. Saved some time though, it's pretty great. Man, imagine playing like golds all run. I think some of my golds might be a little bit inaccurate, but like... Mm -hmm. Crazy. Thing is, it's like it, this. This is like the one run where that sort of thing's possible. Or like it is possible to play at your best the entire time. I should not have jumped there. I would have been going way faster. I guess the other run where it's possible to play your best is like the short ones, die percent and all. 
anything else, you have to deal with that nasty inconsistency stuff. I mean, of course, there's inconsistency in everything, but... That was almost really bad. I would have killed the run right there. Probably didn't look that serious, but I was very close. Okay, I caught way more air there than I wanted to. That was not great, and got turned around. Hate that. I'm not sure if I made any mistakes really in this segment on my PB. Oh, I pressed the throw button by accident, so it looked like Link was waving the people at the stable. No, 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 no. That's the worst. Not the worst, but you know. Okay, let's not get hit by the rocks. I don't remember where the rocks spawn, but I know they spawn around here somewhere. And when I'm driving the optimal route on this road, I get hit with them like 90% of the time. I'm just gonna swing out wider. Ah, yeah, see if I had been driving where I was supposed to drive, I would have gotten hit with that. Gotta hit the truffle. Hitting the truffle means good luck. <laughs> and there was another skip that didn't work out that involved hitting a mushroom. That was like the cue for if you lined it up right. This ended up losing more time than it saved though. Hate that. It's always like, found a great skip, but it doesn't work. Okay, it's got a good refuel on this hill. Sometimes it's really, really bad here. So I like walk too far. At least I got good weather. Man, this is very far ahead of where I normally have to refuel. Alright. Neato. Got a fuel prompt really far away there, that was surprising. I was expecting to have to walk closer. I mean, that's the worst, because I'm bad at... I don't know if you have audio yet, but I can't type in chat right now anyway, but, um... It's because it's a gold. I said it so that golds are rainbow colored now. Man, I still lost time. Must have been a slightly bad refuel. Okay, I got like one of the dangerous rock skips, so take that for now. <laughs> That one bothers me though, because it really should be possible, and it's just not. The last one, I mean. Of course you have rain. It's a pain. Of course I also got a really bad turn there too. It's not the right way. <laughs> Probably lost some time on that. Yeah. That is okay, though. Yep. Plenty of time save later in the run, if I recall correctly. Turn a bit left. Yeah, that was a pretty 
pretty not very smooth run across that field. I'm gonna try a different route up this hill. It's probably not gonna work out, honestly, but... It's shorter and it looks possible, so let's go for it. Okay, see, I knew that was something was gonna happen. Okay, that probably still saved time. If I had known about that, like, stob of rock there, we could have saved even more. Of course, it caused me to then proceed to run over every irregularity in the road afterwards, so... Dude, that's a ledge that I did not know about. Not expect that. Dang it. There goes time save. <laughs> but however, I did lose three seconds here on my PB. Because my like average time is 1658 on that bridge. So we're probably not getting that, but we might save some time. I think I lost time just from falling off this hill like an idiot. I mean, like, you have to fall off it anyway, but I just fell off it like an idiot. Okay, that was clean. That was actually mega clean. Neat. <clears throat> Can't type in chat or I'll lose control. <laughs> should have turned it before that tree. I'm not going for the through castle town route because I haven't mapped it out yet. So for now we're gonna have to deal with the extra guardians. That was really good, actually. That's probably the cleanest I've ever run that split. I mean, it's not going to save time because I did some little mess ups, but it's like the cleanest route anyway. Wonder where the stall mops is. I've never actually run over like the bones or anything and lost time to it, so it's not that big of a deal. But Oh no, that is not good. I'm gonna get shot. Come on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Oh no. Alright, there goes all the time. <laughs> that was probably all seven seconds right there. What was that snipe? Holy cow, did he swim across the river to chase me? Yeah, he did, actually. What the heck? Well, rip run. <laughs> Just stop following me, holy cow. Dude, it's still following. Guess that's what you get for messing up. <laughs> I didn't even mess up, though. Just all I had to do was refuel. <laughs> 
Well, that's a, that's a pretty big yike. Should be able to save time later. Just gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> Came out of the woods, really. Messier than normal, I'm gonna say. Hey, how... How did I save time? I got shot twice by a guardian. <laughs> what the heck happened? Did I take a just a much be a better enough um, route to woodland that I saved time there? Oh, I could have gotten that without slowing down so much if that stupid lizard wasn't there to, for me to like target accidentally. That was clean. That was good. All right. No, stop targeting the Octorok. rock. No. Okay. We made it. We made it. All right. There's the hard part. Hard part's down. Whew. Ah, good. You can hear. Anyway. To explain better why I hold forwards, it's because it tilts the bike forwards when you're in the air, which reduces the time you're in the air from like tiny bumps that you might not even notice, really. Good you can hear now, though. Okay, I slowed down there way too much. I slowed down there even more way too much. Alright. Alright, I guess we're going for that. That was a bit more complicated than I expected it to be. I think that was Lauren Bridge. Yeah. I think I split late, though. But not late enough to lose 2 seconds. Or 1.4. Just because I slowed down too much. That's alright. This run's still going PB, so... Going PB pace, rather. You never know what I might mess up with the game. I think that turn went fairly well. Okay, I got a good path, but I got the slow version, so... I don't know if that's worth anything, but... And I got... yeah, I got the slow one. I might have lost a chunk of time there. <laughs>
Or not, I guess. Oh, I'm back to 12 ahead. Which is great, actually. I like to be going into the second half. Well, second half. It's not really the second half anymore than now that we're sub-39, but... The second... Piece... 12 seconds ahead. That's, that was extra, but... It's my muscle memory to fuel that much, so... Even though it wasted, that's not really gonna matter. This is definitely the most stressful part of the run. Like, Zora's Domain used to be the big deal, but now it's just kind of second nature, but this... Man, I always feel like I'm losing time running into random garbage. Like, in these ruins, I never know which way to go and stuff. But also, like, it's almost straight away, but not quite. So, like, that's even more opportunity to lose time when you just take just barely the wrong turn. Oof. Let's get this good Terry Town run. It's a bit slower than necessary, but I've got a good visual cue now, so... Like, as of right now, I didn't have it before that. This whole run really is just like... Knowing where exactly to start turning and stuff. And saying like, well, I gotta go left of that tree and right of this bush and stuff. And yet, somehow, Sakala Bridge is, like, one of those splits that you gold every time you do a run. Man, it's nice to get to do this. Regular speedruns are stressful. You gotta get all the setups and do it fast and not- and be precise with your- like where you're aiming and stuff. And this you just kind of play it by ear and it works. It's kind of a nice break, honestly. No! Please stop rolling. Okay, apparently I can't use that there. Run not dead. I'ma keep going. Hate to reset so late, you know. 
I mean, it probably would have warranted a reset if I'd lost that kind of time earlier in the run, but... At this point, and with as much time saved as I've got, it's probably fine. I kind of like this better. I'm not going for the different route that's way to the right, because it goes way too far to the right. Probably way longer. But I think that dip to the right at the beginning is a good strategy. It lines you up pretty well for this hop down into the canyon here. That pile of bones has like a ridiculously large hitbox, so I was turned too far to avoid it. So like, it's too big, and then I overcompensate. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure hitting the foxes today. Okay, I don't know how I have not noticed that route to save time right there that I just did before, but somehow I didn't. Probably saved a good, like, two-tenths of a second on that. So overall, probably a waste of time to think of, because... Hey, you never know, this category could get that competitive someday. One thing's for sure is that I never take the optimal forest routing after this stable. Because there must be an optimal route, but I sure don't know it. <laughs> Probably swings further left than I do. So I guess we'll try that. Why did I lock onto the bees? I have no idea. Okay, that was actually much faster than normal. Oh shoot, I forgot to split. Come on, man. Um. <sighs> well, whatever. That is a okay. Oh, I don't know if you've seen the um. The Kakariko and Hateno Village skips yet. They're pretty impressive. If I can get them first try anyway. <laughs> well, Hateno is not that big of a deal. This one kind of is. Gold. I got it with this way. I'm still unsure about using the legality of using the paraglider. 
to cancel fall damage, but luckily I have Mifa's Grace, so we're good. <laughs> Come on. Alright, let's go. Gold and gold. Of course, we're just a gold, I had to nuke the split again last time. And Kakariko's a gold because I messed up wetland. So, maybe not real golds. Okay, but I definitely did save a ton of time on Kakariko. Somehow or another. Bet if I stuck closer to the edge of the cliff on Kakariko skip, that would be great. Probably save way more time than I have been. Oh no, 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 no. Turn too far left. Just trying to cut it too close. No! Dude, why? That has never happened to me there before. Usually I can just jump right over it. Get on the bike. Yikes. That's a little bit very bad. Got a clean fence jump. Yeah, it's no nice knock on PB. Crud. And all because I ran into that tree root. This would have been fine otherwise. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. 